multiple integral we have the double integral and the triple integral well in this video i'm going to teach you how you can use the cancel calculator to calculate for the double integral and the triple integral with a given interval so let's start going but before then before we start using the calculator we need to have some rules so i'm going to teach you some rules that we need to follow so the first thing we need to note is that you see with the calculator it's function or it is manipulated to be in the x but not in the y so that means that when using the calculator to solve for the double integral we are going to replace all the y with the x which is on the calculator and the second we are going to do is we are going to replace all y with x on the calculator because if it's the x so it means that we need to manipulate it with what or why it being the x you understand what i'm telling you so let's start going so we have this question and we are supposed to solve this using the calculator well that would be very simple then to solve it on a sheet so now with this let me break this one down but if you're going to do the multiplication this is multiplication after we'll do the others so when you have a question which is in multiplication form now what you do now is that we are trying to solve this using the calculator so we the whole idea is to divide this or to separate this so that we can do it on the calculator now you know that this is the y it means that this is the y goes with or any function of y here and this goes with the middle one always note the first one here goes with this the second one here goes with this interval so we are trying to do this mean we are trying to what make it separable so since it's multiplication you can try using the same thing by you bring what multiplication what i'm trying to do is this now let's break it down so with this we have the y right which means that it goes with what y squared and the interval is from one to three now by note here we told i told you we're going to replace all y with x on the calculator that means that this is y squared dy but on the calculator you're not having y dy so therefore we will change it to what x squared dx and the interval is from one to three then multiplying the second one which is the x value which is the x dx with the x dx we're going to maintain it but it has an interval from zero to two so which is this we've what separated them so then when you get this then you go to your calculator so i'm going to my calculator then when you get to your calculator what you do now is you're going to input this on the calculator you see when you do this the calculator is not having to y that's why i told you that we are therefore going to change them into what dx that means that you're going to get alpha plus x squared then okay okay so then the interval is from one to three and then times the integral of x alpha plus x with an interval of 0 to 2 then you press equal to that means you had 52 over 3 using the calculator we have 52 over 3 now you can sit down and solve this without the calculator and check whether it's verified with the answer we had here so this is the way we can do it very simple as that yes so now let's take so the answer we're supposed to get is 52 over 3. So first, you must note these rules that we replace all dy with dx on the calculator and all y with x on the calculator. That's why here we are supposed to get one, the interval from one to three, and it's y squared dy. But then we change it to y. We change the dy with x, and we change the y with x. So we had y squared dy, but now here we have what x squared dy, uh, dx then we take the second one which is dx and the interval is from 0 to 2 then we can input that on the calculator and get our answer let's move on to the program 2 with program 2 it's somehow complex i chose this complex question for you to understand so down the same rule holds for uh, what program 2 so this is the question we are supposed to solve and we are therefore we don't want to solve it with our hands but we want us to use the calculator with this type of question we try separating them so now we try making two y stand alone 
then minus 3x squared y squared. So this is what I'm going to talk about. This is it. So therefore, we are going to use the whole integral sign, which is this double integral, this double integral for this first member, then minus the same thing, second member. And don't forget the dy dx. So this is what we had. This is the first one, right? Then minus the same thing. This. So we've separated this. This is the same thing as that, right? But this is just a little separation that we've done here. It's a little separation that we've done here, right? Yes. So after doing this separation, then we try going to the first nitro tube. So we are going to do this. Now, we are going to break this one down. And I hope you understand the separation. Because we just took the double integral, then take the first member minus, this is a minus sign, then it's second, in, that's a two integral sign, then we took this. And don't forget the dy dx, don't forget, it's the same thing for here and here. Then what you do now is that we are going to break this one down. Then you know that this is dy, so it goes with what? The 2y. Then when you break it down, you're going to get 2y dy. But note for the rule here, we are supposed to replace the y with the x and y with x. So we had 2x dx. And the interval starts from what? 0 to what? 2. So we had here. Then times dx. Because when we take this one off, when we take this one off here, we're going to get dx and the interval is from 0 to 1. I hope you understood that. <coughs> Sorry. They will do it for the same thing. For here, we know that this is what? dy. And I told you that the dy is the one. If the derivative comes here, it means that it deals with the first integral. So now, with this, you know that dy is what? y squared. But note, when there's a constant in front, it is you can do it because it's commutative. You can choose for the x squared or the y squared. Yeah. But I advise you to take it for the one which is in between here. That's the one that comes here. So now dy now tends to a 3y squared. And the interval is from 0 to 2. So 0 to 2. 3y squared dy, but note the rule state that if it's y, we place it with x, so x squared, and dy goes with dx. Then times, we have the x here, left it what? x squared. Then the interval is from 0 to 1. Now you take a calculator, then after manipulating it in dx, you take then, take your calculator. Then let's see. So you have your integral, then you have to alpha plus x. Then you come down, that is the interval from 0 to 2. Then times the integral alpha plus x. Then the interval is from 0 to 1. Then the minus sign will come. The integral. We then alpha plus x squared. Then the interval starts from zero and goes to two. Then times the integral of x squared. And the interval is from zero to one. Then you press the button. Wait. S squared. Let me see something. Okay, 0 to 2 dx. Then, sorry, this is 1. Sorry, this is 1 because it's dx. So it's 1. It's 1. So it's 1. Then you press equal to 1. So you're going to get 4 over 3 because here it's 1. Makes as if it's 1. If it's the x, make sure you bring one here, right? So when you do that, I think we had. Let's see the answer we had on the calculator. We had four over three. So the answer we are supposed to get is four over three. So you can also try this using your hands to check whether you get four over three. Please, this is easy way to understand. So you can go back to the video and check again and see how we did it. Now we are moving on to the triple integral. With the triple integral, it's the same idea, but we should know the following. Now we replace the y with the x, replace y with x, replace z with x, dx, 
this word c with x what i mean is that so this is a whole lot so this we know that this is x this is x this is x now and this is switching to x x x so this is the x the x the x let's assume it like that so with this you try to what make individual with their corresponding variable so now with the z comes first so the z the interval is from 0 to 1 so it is z squared so when you do that it means that we're going to get 0 to 1 and now i told you that the z is the same as which replace that x so that it can be manipulated on the calculator so it will be x squared dx then times the interval is from 0 to 1 and the next one is dx please follow this how it is arranged it depends they can interchange it so then dx is what with x cube so x cube so the interval for this is 0 to 2 so x cube dx 0 to 2 then times then we have y and we know that y is replaced by, we replace y with x therefore it will be y dy but we have it to be x dx the interval from negative 2 to 3 then we take our calculator make sure we take our calculator so i think this one helped me i was writing my final exam with multiple calculus and when this questions usually when it comes i laugh because i've learned how to do it with this calculator so i don't even worry myself when it comes because sometimes it's very challenging so x squared and the interval is from 0 to 1 then times this um we have alpha plus x that is okay so it's cubed by that so it's cubed and the interval is from 0 to 2 then move on then times the last one that is the integral of alpha plus x then the interval is negative 2 then the up is 3 in person 10 over 3 make sure that you are able to manipulate this and note the rules so let's see the answer the answer we had is 10 over 3 very simple as that so this is how we can use the calculator to solve for multiple integrals thank you very much for watching this video please i hope you like the video kindly subscribe and like for more videos check the description of the video for how to do it by hand without a calculator yes thank you very much for watching this video